Alright. Alright, check this out. We're going to talk about teachers. We're going to talk about antidepressants. We're going to talk about, about alcohol. We're going to talk about a bunch of different things. But what mainly what I'm going to talk about is, see, that guy right there was me. That's my lower nature. That's my desire body. You know, that's what that is. That's animal instinct right there. And it was created. Because see, the alcohol, what it did, since I couldn't control it, it, it pulled, I don't want to say demonic forces because they've twisted the word demon. But, you know, it pulled different spirits out of me that wasn't positive. It was negative. You know, more spirits than anything. But, I, you know, I talked to a lot of teachers, faculty, and different things. And what I have seen and heard as well is the mass antidepressants within the teachers within the school systems. You know, that take those. And how many teachers are under the influence of suicidal thoughts? You know, trying to go back and switch medications and and never getting better and then struggling on with teaching the kids. You know. And then we have cannabis and hemp that has I'll have five years in December straight with zero big pharma. Just communication and everything but when I look at the inventory and do one inventory of the school system and the, the big jobs and the big money makers it, they have made it to where it is illegal to use cannabis and the hemp CBD it's, it's coming they, it looks like it's getting better but there's some design behind it because see the cannabis and the hemp actually releases your your connection, it gets you stronger with God, Elohim, whoever it is that you practice your spirituality with. But it connects you to that. And what's the insane thing is when you look at alcohol and research it for what it truly is, is to steal your soul and to make you miserable. Especially if you can't handle it. And that's what it does. In, in my mind, I'm thinking, wow, in the school system in America, you can drink every night legally, go out, you know, get DUIs, put people at risk driving on the road. You can, you know, come in with a hangover, because a lot do. Now your mind's not thinking. Now it's altered your teaching state, you know, all because you can't take cannabis or hemp when that individual see in my experience in selling drugs I sold mainly cannabis marijuana to teachers you know some to other people other people buying cocaine was partying everything but teachers and faculty and now this was 20 years ago and I'm sure it's sort of like that now they went over there and put it in brownies or did whatever they did with it to get it in their bodies for medicine you know, whatever it took. And then they went and did their work with their kids and everything and connected with their higher power and had positive nights. Woke up with no worries and where's my keys and everything and fogged brain. You know, think about each individual if we were allowed that. But see, when I look at it for what it is, it's we can't, including us, not just teachers. But see, you can't have that in your system because they know it's good for you. They know the benefits that it has. They know, they know everything. And see, and we're down here saying, yeah, it's getting legalized and all this, but if you look at the history, they have taken that resource from us to create what is going on right now. You know, Think about how many teachers are on antidepressants right now, nationwide, in the United States of America. You know, think about that number. And this is my question to all of you. Do you go to the doctor and say, I want to do the same thing that I'm doing now every day, 
but I just don't want to feel depressed. And it's like, sure, I'll put you on this medicine. Do any doctors tell you to grow up and go talk to somebody? Go to some meetings or something else because you're going through something that has a lot of pride. And instead of going somewhere where you need to go and talk to strangers, we go to Dr. Feel Good people. And you're not getting better. Teachers are not getting any better that's doing that shit. You know? And what if this? What if teachers nationwide said, you know what, let's just all do it, flunk it, and if they drug test us, then we ain't going to have no teachers. See, that's what they say, but I lose my job. And it's like, see, that's how they get you. They've got enough money to create all this stuff, the atmosphere, the business, the schools, and all that. And then what we're going to do is implement, you can't do anything with that plant that's from this earth that God put on this earth to heal you in every which way but loose and to make furniture and gas and fuel and everything and food and all kinds of stuff out of it. We're going to take that from you. And what we're going to do is replace it with chemicals. Yeah, don't that sound natural? We're going to get rid of everything that got y'all through antiquity and history and everything. Screw them plants. What we're going to do is alter your mind. What we're going to do is put you on medication that's not natural, that God did not make, that man made in order to put in our brains to alter our thoughts and to alter our perception, to get into the schools, to confuse the teachers, to confuse the whole system. See, whenever we look at it like that, then it makes complete sense. That how you would... See, teachers should be... Tested on alcohol, sort of like people on parole and probation. Because if you are teaching kids knowledge, real knowledge, then we should have more structure and discipline implemented. See, we're to a point to where the sex and the gender is more important than anything, and that's by design. It's by design. And if it's on TV, then it's true, and it's not. So when we look at all these different factors, looking at it like this, it makes complete sense. You know, I'll talk to all of you, teachers and everybody, you know, and it's like this. It's a crying shame that they would rather put you on chemicals and to make you feel good, we're going to put the commercials out there and everything. And we're not getting any better. We're not. The devils didn't say, I'm going to show up with fire and brimstone and horns and everything. Devil's showing up, you know, in your outfit, writing prescriptions, you know, and all that. And truthfully, it's not their fault. They just got into a profession that they think they can make a lot of money. Bingo. If we create professions that you can make a lot of money, which is greed, if we create greed, then they'll never, sh they'll never know what in the hell's going on. You know, we'll tell them they're just, I mean, they're goy, they're stupid, they're cattle. You know, back in the day, we, you know, you had shamans and stuff that would go out and take whatever it was and off the land and heal you, pray, and all that different kind of stuff. Now it's shots, vaccines, and you can see the control that they're doing. They're forcing society into a coma because we're already there. You know, and I talk to teachers and they talk within the school system. And I mean, it's, it's you know, the, the role models, parents, there's more split families. There's more single moms. There's more, you know, no dads. And we're getting better? No, we're not. You know, we're not getting any better. Not until we restructure this so-called system to where they finally fess up about the cannabis and say, you know what, our bad, we tried to get you, but you figured it out. You know, I'll be the attorney for all, all school systems nationwide. I already know who created the school systems. I got my 12 steps too, as does everybody else. You know, and we just, everybody's so afraid is what it is. Everybody is afraid to stand up and say anything. That man right there, it's almost five years in December. Because of that plant, that's what that did. That. 
And the whole time before that was the doctors. And I've got my last prescription that I've ever written to me. And I said, I'm going to prove that wrong. That power within me ignited through a series of events. December the 17th, 2014. But some events prior led up to that. And then my psychic change, so to speak, happened. My transformation. You know, I finally, something opened up. And it's on fire. And it scares people that know me. Because they don't know this side of me. You know, this is what studying does. This is what staying connected does. And looking at it for what it is. You know, now we've got the kids on antidepressants and Adderall and everything, and the teachers are on medications. Now, who the one who is actually sane? Seriously. Because if I walked into the middle of that, you know what? I would be the alien. He's a weirdo. You know what he does? He eats smoothies from the earth and everything, and he cuts up the stems and all that stuff and the bananas and the shells and everything. Throws them all in the blender and blends it all up. That's right. I get the, both the benefits from the shell and then the actual fruit or vegetable. There's different phosphorus on both sides. And that's our connection to God too, is that phosphorus. We're not taught that. We're taught to go down here to McDonald's and get you a dollar cheeseburger. Go down here and buy all this stuff. All these New World Order restaurants with the same symbols, the sixes and nines and the triangles and the stars and the sun rays and the upside down stars and, and all this, that, and the other, which is just the age of Aquarius that we're in right now that's transitioning from Pisces to Aquarius, and which is the age of androgyny and knowledge. That's why there's so much knowledge out, but we got to create these tablets. You know, and these kids within the school systems, what we don't realize is this, is these tablets... The more the kids look from this distance, the more it's cutting off that natural instinct for the retina and the corner to really, really grow and focus on things from long distances and everything. Notice how everything's just right here now. That's by design. That'll drive anybody insane. Do you think God or any God would create something for you just to sit there in front of? All this stuff is taking our faculties away. Our faculties is how we learn how to reason, how to think. You know, how to make a decision, you know, not based on self, but based on reason. You know, do you see anything in the school systems getting better? No, you don't. I know you don't. You know, but it's getting out of hand. And I said I'd be all over the place on this. You know, and I, I, I hate it because the main ones, they they listening. They just, they can't do nothing. You know, and... It's just sad. It's sad that so many people are controlled. You know, you can't take that because we already know what it's going to do. It's going to unlock your thinking and your mind. And since we have you on all these pills, we control what you think. That's what we do. You know, and I know I'm going up against all doctors, all psychiatry and everything, but I've proved you all wrong. I've proved you wrong. I talked to some of you that you can help your patients and clients. They call me and say, hey, this one's this, and it's like, all right, tell them, that, that, whatever. Because they don't, they haven't lived our life, our experience. My brain's right here, their brain's right here. If I pull their brain out and put it down, it's all books. If I pull my brain out and put it down right here, it's all chaos and mayhem and everything just like yours if you're struggling. You know, and our experience is what builds us. It's what gets us better. So if our experience and teaching under the influence of bullshit medications is not good, then we need to change it up and allow our teachers the access to the cannabis and hemp, whatever the ailment is that they need it for, and to get off of the medications and to teach our children, you know what? This is what you do. You own up to your mistakes. And if we're done wrong, we stand up to tyranny is what we do. That's exactly what we do. You know, we don't sit around and say, well, you know what, I'm just going to go get back on my tablet because most people will. Nobody will even give a shit about this video. Anyways, I love you. See you next time.